Deep brain stimulation surgery offers an opportunity to examine information and coding in the awake human brain by taking microelectrode recordings on a human subject performing behavioral tasks. In this example, subjects are first trained to play a simple computer card game involving risk and reward. The subject is then prepped for deep brain stimulation surgery, and microelectrodes are inserted into the target region of the brain, in this case, the STN. Neuronal signals are recorded as the subject repeats the card game. The data collected demonstrates the role of risk and reward on neuronal encoding in the STN, though the goals of the experiment can vary depending on the nucleus targeted for surgery. At the beginning, DVS was mainly used for motor disorders such as essential tremor, Parkinson, and dystonia. More recently, it's being used for the investigation for treatments of depression and obsessive compulsive disorder. So this task has both a motor and a reward contingent component. We record it in the subthalamic nucleus, which lies at the interface of the motor and limbic systems of the brain. So this patient is a 62-year-old lady. She's very nice. She's had Parkinson's disease for about 10 years. And the classic features of Parkinson's she has. So she has tremor, she has stiffness, and she has slowness of movement. And she initially responded well to medications, which is a good sign because it tells us that it's true Parkinson's disease. But then, as in many cases, over time the medications become less effective. Basically, the patients become brittle, so that when she's off her medication, she has really severe symptoms of Parkinson's disease. She's tremulous, she's rigid, she's slow. And then when she takes her medications, she gets a different kind of movement disorder called the dyskinesia, where she moves too much and there's no longer a happy middle ground. So that's the time when surgery is...